and we'll start with uh, Bob. Let's start us off. Uh, hey, Moses, how you doing? I'm um, Hey, I was curious. I mean, you're, you're a newcomer, but you got three seniors who are newcomers too. How, how do you think uh, those those guys, Jalen and Justin and Vance, are, are fitting in? And what can a young guy like you learn from older guys like that? A lot. Definitely since they're grad transfers. So they've been in the game for a long time. So it's a lot of small things on and off the court that I'm able to pick up from them. Just having vets in the system is always positive. Have those guys already become leaders, even though they're they're newcomers too? Yeah, you, you can tell from the jump that a lot of them are just natural born leaders. And then the fact that they they have so much experience and experience is uh, equivalent to knowledge a lot of times. So a, a lot of things that they just naturally do, naturally know, me being a newcomer, I can just uh, – I can just follow those by example, uh, right? I can just follow their example. A lot of times they might not even have to say stuff. It's just small tendencies that I see that I, that I find can be uh, helpful. And with you, uh, where all positions, I know you're a pretty versatile guy. Where all positions have you played? And just what's this first uh, week or so of full-scale practice has been like for you? Uh, when you say what all positions have I played, are you talking about since I've been here or my whole career? Well, maybe both. <laughs> Well, when I started basketball, you know, I was young uh, when I was about in third, well, before third grade, I've been, I had been playing center and power forward uh, because I was just the tallest one on the floor. And after that, I got, I moved teams and all. So then I got to be, be a guard. And since then I've been playing mainly two through three. And that's still what I really, uh, what I really play two, three, four. I could play some four, occasional one. Uh, and I and I can just I can I can guard one through four, maybe even for five if you need me to. Uh, I like to say I'm just a basketball player, so I'm willing to do whatever my coach needs and my team needs to prepare. And how is this? How, how's practice been going for you? It's been going really good. Um, you know, we picked it up a lot lately, given the um, since since we've been able to increase hours in practice. So we've uh, been slowly picking up and slowly making adjustments. And I can definitely say that I feel like we're preparing to have a great season. Yeah, one more for you. When Isaiah decided to stay in the draft, you know, that was going to mean more minutes for other guys. You're, you're probably one of those guys. What was your reaction when you heard Isaiah was staying in the draft? And did you sort of feel like, well, okay, I'm going to get more minutes now? Well, you know, the way, the way it happened, you know, it was really like a emotional roller coaster, roller, emotional roller coaster going up and down. He came back, then he, then he did and all that. So, I mean, I was definitely excited when he decided to come back because that was going to help the team tremendously for sure. Just having that having that guy able to space the floor and make, and make plays and just another guy that's been in the system. But then with him uh, in, entering the draft, I completely respect and uh, understand his decision. And and now and now we have to we have to uh, continue. So I feel like him him not being here that is definitely is definitely we we would definitely rather you know have have a guy that could be a potential pro in the program for sure, and then him leaving, we're just gonna have to make those adjustments and uh, and continue the way we've been uh, preparing. Go uh, Nate next. Wait, real quick, it's a it's something popped up on the screen. Can I just cancel? Three banding. <laughs> Go ahead, Nate. As far as, yeah, okay, finally. The, uh, as far as rebounding in this team, just how do you feel it's improved over last year? I mean, you could, can you all really see the difference in the size and, and personnel you have? Yeah, you can just look at the, um, the roster between this year and last year, look at the height where we have a, a, a big size jump. So given that size and athleticism, I feel like rebound, rebounding shouldn't be a problem. And also, I, oh, yeah. And adjusting to a, a seven three center that shoots threes, how has that gone? Yeah, that's that's great to have. I've never really played with a with a seven three guy that can knock down shots at that level. So just having just having him in on the floor, it's just even a lot of times I'm actually even playing against him, and he's knocking down these shots and he's impossible to defend. He I, sometimes I feel like I close out on him; he can't even see me. So that might be frustrating in practice, but it's going to be great to have that on my team when it gets to game time. Thank you. Jason Carroll. 
Hey, Moses, I asked Vance this. I, I wonder what the dynamic of this team is and, and how you guys have approached everything with, with the the older guys that have come in, transferred in, or had to sit out last year and now get to play. You four freshmen that are really talented and then the guys that were here before in Desi and Ethan, just kind of how that's all meshed together and what you've seen from the 13 weeks you guys have all worked out together and, and how good do you think you can be? Yes, I definitely feel like we can be a really good team having all those different pieces. Because if you if you look at even what you just said, we got young guys coming in, we got guys that's used to the program, and we have vets. So if you put all those pieces together, it's like a puzzle. And so how good can you guys be putting all those puzzle pieces together? Oh, uh, once once we once we officially put them together and put everybody in their put everybody in their place, and we uh are able to learn and benefit from each other, then I feel like the sky's the limit for sure. Kevin, next. Moses. Yeah, what's going on? Hey man, good to see you. I've been interviewing you since your freshman year of high school, but you, I, I got a, a big question to ask you about high school right now at Montverde Academy. Going up against guys like Cade Cunningham, Scotty Barnes, the year before that it was Precious. Talk yeah. about that level of player and talent Preparing you for this level now, do you think there's been some advantages there and how so? I feel like playing against that competition every day on a daily basis, my high school career, those are the top guys in high school and potential pros. So they were at this, they were at this level for, uh, while we were in high school. So it's almost like I've been playing against high school competition. I mean, playing against college competition since I've been in high school. So that's definitely a big step and it's definitely prepared me for what I'm up. Uh, going against today next question for you is from practice we know you can shoot we know you can actually do a lot of things but seeing mm -hmm. you on a reel all the time getting to the basket kind of bully ball getting and finishing above the rim putbacks uh just slashing and, uh, and getting there downhill fast is that something that you've really been focused on or is it just something that's kind of just happened organically a little bit of both um, playing in this system that coach has, it's opened up a lot of driving lanes. It's, uh, it's um, it gave me a lot of opportunities to showcase another part of my game because, you know, I had a different role in high school, which was to hit shots, knock down open shots, and knock down shots, period. But in, in this, I, I'm, I've always been about playing my role and finding my role with every team I'm on. So I'm really still trying to figure out my role on this team. So I'm really just showcasing all I can do until I find that role. And a lot of people, when they, when, I, when they say, when they hear the word role, they assume that it's a limitation or what you can and can't do. But I feel like that's your, that's what, that's what you bring to the table and how you benefit and help the team win. So I'm just finding in my role. Scotty, go next. And Moses, a two-parter here. In what ways have you seen your game grow since you got to campus? And then what's your take on what you've seen at advance to this point? Since I've got to campus, I feel like I've been getting bigger, faster, stronger, working with Coach Rich in the weight room. So that that uh, definitely has been translating to the court and my ability to shoot the ball off the dribble. You know, we, we they pushed the three-point line back. So that's an adjustment that I've been working on a lot. And I feel like I've been successful with that. And while we, while we, since we're talking about threes, uh, for sure, Vance, that's what he does. He hits, he hits shots. He can he can score off like a little jab step one dribble step back all those um you can definitely see that he's a vet in the moves that he does and his size and his ability to use his body to get space and knock down shots Hutch? yeah moses uh coach musselman said last week that he's still looking for a guy like an isaiah joe or a mason jones that he had last year that could you know take over the game late uh, are you a guy that, that could could possibly do that this year? And who are some of the other guys you've seen that are, are capable of taking over a game like that? That's a great thing I feel about this team. We have multiple guys that can do different things because we I mean, I do feel like I can I can fill in some of those fill in some of their shoes uh, with the threes and taking over games and uh, late game situations. But we also have guys like Justin is going take over in another way that might not look like Isaiah and uh, Mason, but it's definitely going to have the same effect. And then, you know, we got guys like JD and Vance, KK, JT, it's just uh, different players in different roles that can make a huge change in a game. 
And then also, uh, what's your relationship like with, with Cade Cunningham? And what was your reaction when you saw that uh, y'all are going to play Oklahoma State in the SEC Big 12 Challenge? Yeah, well, I'm, I'm excited to do it for sure. You know, me and Cade, we played together in high school, everybody knows. But we also played before that. And uh, we, we just had that competition. We were always, uh, always competing against each other. But at the same time, we we competed with each other a lot, too. So we just got to a great storyline. Curtis? Hey, Moses. Obviously, you guys have, you know, a lot of new faces, and it's a deep team. Everybody's really competing for playing time and things like that. But with that being said, is there anybody who's, you know, maybe an upper upperclassman that's taken you under their wing and kind of served as a mentor for you as an incoming freshman? Like I said, I mean, the, the, the vets, the older guys, they just have – they have a different aura to them. You can tell that they're knowledgeable about a lot of aspects of the game. So, uh, you know, like JT, he, he's real. I can tell he's really wise and he knows the game really well. So even when we're in, in practice in a late game situation, he might pull me to the side and tell me something that he thinks that he sees. And I'm all ears for uh, instances like that. And we have guys, the, the same thing with Justin, with Vance, there's different guys just, uh, it's giving knowledge about different things because they've been in these situations before, these late game situations in a college game. I've been in I've been in a lot of situations, but I just haven't played a college game yet. So I'm all ears when it comes to things like that. Okay. And then you're obviously one of four freshmen from the state that everybody's really excited about. Can you just give us a quick rundown on how those other three guys are looking so far? Yeah, I'm really impressed, I must say. We got um, Jalen Williams. He's been very solid. He's, he's done everything we need him to do. He's knocking down shots. He's getting to he's getting rebounds. He's he's uh, setting setting great picks. I, I, I love when he's when he's setting the screen for me because I know I'm gonna get open. I don't I don't even look at my defender. I know it's coming off of the shot. So he's he's just he's just been productive. You can definitely say um, Devo. You, he's just been getting every loose ball, uh, distributing. He's 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 been he's been doing everything that we need him to do for sure. Uh, whenever, whenever I'm, whenever I'm guarding him, if I miss a block, if I mix a box out or I get ball, get caught ball watching, I already know he's gone. He's he's just so active and willing to do what nobody nobody wants to do. Uh, and then we got KK been bringing the ball up against pressure, and then on the other side of the ball applying pressure full court. I honestly don't think he gets tired. He uh he ran a he ran a like a he ran our mile in like five twenty one. So it's just a guy with with endurance like that on the court, picking up full court is just, you just, just annoying for the other, for the other, for the other team. And he's also been shooting the ball well, creating, creating shots, making plays. So he's doing what I'm doing. We need him to do for sure. Jordan, you got a quick one? What's been the biggest transition just in the first year of, of college ball? And is there anything in particular you're really working on through the rest of practice? I definitely have to find, well, familiarize or get comfortable with the with Coach Mustard's system. It's a lot of small things, some small details. He's very detail oriented. So it's a lot of details that he pays attention to because in my, my high school team, we played a completely different um, way of uh, type of basketball than we play here. So I have to make that transition and pick up on all the details. So that's, that's, that's probably the biggest adjustment. All right, Moses, thanks very much. Uh, we'll bring in Coach Must before we uh, 